Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're going to do a product review of the Voice Caddy SC300 Swing Caddy, and it's just an awesome tool for a launch monitor. I got it at the PGA Show this year, and it tells you your swing speed, smash factor, launch angle, apex, and I've been working with it for about a month now, and it's very accurate. It's uh, really good with the short shots, long shots. I'm very impressed with what this thing has been able to do. All right, what's gonna be great about this product review, you're gonna get a perspective from a professional standpoint and also an aspiring amateur that's trending towards scratch handicap. He's currently a four handicap, so uh, should be interesting. All right, this is my good friend Kyle. He's been a student of mine and uh, he's last six, seven months using the V1 software. We've been able to get him down from a 10 to a four and he's trending to trending. scratch, trending, trending, <laughs> trending. He's playing tournaments, mm -hmm. and uh, one of our goals we wanted to, uh, for the PGA show, we wanted to get a launch monitor that was one. First of all, affordable. Affordable. <laughs> I don't, and I don't we, have twenty-five thousand dollars to drop on a track, man. <laughs> uh, me neither. <laughs> Not right now. And uh, the other thing was we had one that was a little bit less expensive mm -hmm. last year. Yep. But the problem we had with it was our seventy yards and in, we were getting inaccurate readings. So. That was the goal when I went to PJ show was to find one that actually would do all of those things. And uh, so I went into the voice caddy, swing caddy um, tent, and it was just awesome. I, I, want, I told them what my needs were, and I went into the uh, booth and hit, and I was hitting lob wedges, sand wedges, hit flop shots, and they gave me accurate readings. So I bought it on the spot, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to do. We're, gonna, we're both going to hit here, and we're going to hit a 42-yard shot, 50 two yard shot we're going to see what this thing reads we're going to do a shot flop shot where we got more swing speed and see yep. if it gives us the right yardage right. and uh and maybe some full swings as well too oh we're going to do a lot of full swings yeah a lot of yeah. full swings. yeah we're going to do a seven iron pitching wedge five iron driver and we're going to see how you know the launch angle because this thing measures launch yeah. angle give it a really good product review for you guys yep and we've been working with it we've had it for about a month now so we've been able to play around with it and personally I've been able to gain a little bit of yardage because I've been working with the launch angle. I was around, what, nine and a half? Nine and a half, yeah. Nine and a half, ten. And I was carrying it, you know, I'm not a long hitter, 250 to 260, and I've got my launch angle up to around 14, 15. 14, and you're carrying it significantly, about two, 265, two, 275. Two, yeah, 270 to 280. So yeah. I got 20, 25 yards with using this machine. So it is very useful. Very so, useful. All, all right, right. Let's, Dig in and uh, let's we'll see here. Our first one I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna say it's 42 yards. I've Yeah, we shot with... that flag about 42 yards. So. Yep, so let's see here. And I've got the thing set. What's cool about it also is that I've got it set at 58 degrees. You can change the loft if you have a 56, um, and you can change it with all the different clubs. Oh, that's right at it. 43 yeah, yards. Yeah, carried okay. about a yard far. Okay, that was good. That's about right. Yeah, right on that uh, that bank right behind it. Okay, good. Yeah, I, that, that's pretty accurate. I mean, I would say that was 40, 41 yards. No, that's that's really good, and it's giving me the launch angle. Okay, good. Why don't you try it, Kyle? All right, let's see. All right. Yeah, I would say 44. I hit that, or actually close to 40, uh, 48, or I'm sorry, 45. Yeah, see if pull, I can actually pull it just a little bit. Yeah, let, a little, let's see if no. I can aim it a little bit better there. Thank God it doesn't tell you how bad your direction is. Oh, oh that's crushed 43 that. right there. Yeah, oh, 49. I, no, okay. I, no, that I, did I, carry a little bit further. I hit that one. <laughs> okay, so I'm, that you're, is good because I did carry over that. You have to remember, there. DL, us amateurs, we're not used to always middling it. <sighs> and right. uh, I know you, you, you professionals are used to hitting in the center of the club face. All right, we're working on his confidence here. He's just trying to get probably get over the trap, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> hey, I don't even see that trap right now. Oh, man, I messed with it. You messed <laughs> <laughs> 60 yards. <laughs> 
You know, it's not a review of me. It's a review of this great product no, here. That, that was very accurate. That was this. All right, All right. why don't you hit some flop shots okay. and, and not well, blade actually, it like I did. Before I do the flop shot, let's do, um, I've measured it. We got one. Oh, the basket. The basket. Gotcha. I got about, it's about 52 yards. So let's see what it okay. goes. Okay. And also, too, what's cool about this, we got it about, we got this thing set up about five feet in front. That's about yeah, where you want to be. Yeah, that's about the sweet spot. Yep. Yeah, definitely. It's about 48 yards. Yeah. 40, 43, actually, 42.7. Right, okay. All right. That looked pretty similar to the blue flag one. Yeah. That's... But again, for something like this, I mean, that, that really can help you dial in, though. Yeah, that was, I knew I'd, I almost decelerated a little bit there. That All one's right. significantly Too far. Longer. Yeah, exactly. I, would say, I would say. There you go. I would say that, that for sure. That was about right. So there, that's what's cool about it. Okay, so now let's see here. Right in between is where I need to be. All right. And there it is. There it is. Yep. Yeah, so there we go, 53. So, yeah, sure. three shots. It shouldn't take me that many, but uh, definitely doesn't hurt to have this information. No, and, it, and the thing that I like about it is, you know, I'm not going to, you know, you know, talk like I'm made of money here, but, I mean, it's something incredibly affordable that something like this, you know, any guy in his backyard, any, any young golfer, any female golfer, Wait. any junior golfer can be in their backyard and use this. All right, one thing that's pretty cool is the other day I had a lady ask me, I was giving her a lesson. She's about a 15 handicap. She said, hey, would it help to, for me to use a launch monitor to, to get my yardage for each club? And I said, 100% yes, it would. Um, because when you're out there playing, if you knew exactly that your 7-iron yes. flew, you know, 130, and your 8-iron was, you know, 120, yep. and you knew that you had to carry it over that trout, you know, you can calculate the uphill, the mm -hmm. wind, but that's going to give you that extra confidence. Oh, of course. When you're playing out there, you're not second-guessing yourself. Yeah, and, and, and we always talk about, I mean, w when we work together, you always talk about practicing with a purpose. If I go out there in my backyard or out, uh, you know, out in a field, a random field, that I don't really have any target or anything, I have this that I can get that feel of hitting that 50-yard shot, that feel of hitting that 30-yard shot. Correct. And, I mean, I'm not trying to crush it. I, you know, obviously hitting the long ball is always fun, but this is about dialing in those wedges because... You know, there's no style point on the card. No, and this is where the this is where like I've been talking with you, like it's gonna help you yeah. go from the four to the zero. Yeah. Getting this dialed in. So all right, well all hit, right. hit a couple shots. What yardage was that? You got fifty two to that basket. All right, fifty two. If you hit that basket, I will give you twenty bucks. Oh. Goodness gracious. If you don't, you owe me a dollar. Oh well okay. Twenty to one bet. Twenty to one. Off the first try? Yep. Wow. All right. That's right. not going to hit uh, it. Oh, go. that's going to be close, though. Nine. Yeah, I crush it. <laughs> I like the fact you got it there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy. You know, again, not used to hitting the middle of the club face. There it is. 51. 43 yards. 43. Yeah, that's okay. short. That's short. That was short. Yeah, I was shorter than I thought. Yeah, but I, I'm going to make that putt. So just like me, let's see if you can dial it in on the third one. Hey, I, one long, one short. One in the middle. That might be about right. Yeah, it's on it. Oh, oh. What was the yardage? 48. 48. That landed, so, that right, landed there right you go. in front of it. So I, I tell you what, you spend... You know, me and him can come back here and we can spend hours, and we will yep. in the summer when we have more time. Uh, we're going to get good at this. Yeah, we are. This thing works. Uh, I mean, I'll, it's been very accurate, so I'm very pleased with what mm -hmm. I'm saying. So let's hit a, let let's me hit hit a those, flop let's shot. Let's hit those flops because that's, yeah. that's, that's got to be the toughest on a launch monitor. Yes. Because is seeing all that club head speed, but reading that, you know, that launch angle to be, you know, yeah. gosh, 80, 90 degrees. Yeah, so you had... 55 swings, but I think I had 48. So um, let's see here if I swing at 60, 63 with the open face. And we'll go to that. I'm going to try to hit in between the traps. So I'm going to try to carry this like 39. Oh, 
right underneath it. It's 30 yards. That read it. 27 yards. I really yeah, read it. I mean, and I had, whoa, well, that, okay, this is cool. Uh, so I got almost 62 miles an hour swing speed. Yeah. And it measured the right it distance. Measured. That's, that's, and that's, we've been doing this for the last month because yep. we've had it for the last month. And it, that's what me and him were just, we're just like, holy cow, this is actually working that it reads that. So. Yeah, because that's the most difficult thing. Because I mean, I've had, you know, the kind of the cheaper launch monitors try to do that. And it, and it shows it going 100, you know, 100 yards, 130 yards. Absolutely. So, all, all right. right, you try one. All right. You only get one. I wonder one. if it will read a blade. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to try to do it. There's a blade. nobody, no seniors in the softball yes, field right now. Yes, there is no seniors in the okay. softball field. All right, lay that out to about, what, 100 degrees? <laughs> Uh, th 13 yards. That is impressive. That, that is impressive. That wait, is really impressive. Wait, 34 miles. Yeah, you kind of decelerated, yeah. but still, it read it. That's that is really impressive. Okay. Put that in the BGI bloopers. So, Kyle, if you want to hit one 11 yards. Honestly, that's not a bad yards. flop shot. I just opened it too much. Hey, that's an 11-yard flop shot. Hey, you know, I could teach that shot. All right, there's a... Yeah. All right, it's right on the money. All right, Swing so, speed's a little low. Let me try one more. Is it, we're gonna, yeah. I'm going to sign him up for a, like a less than a five series on flop shot. You know, that's usually I'll give him a discount shot. since I like him. Oh, that's good. Discount. I already owe you a buck. All right, yep. Maybe I got that, seven. I got that flop maybe a seven series. It's reading it, man. It's reading it, though. So, hey. You know, for what we're trying to do here, you can see mm -hmm. we've hit different shots with different speeds, and this thing, this thing's reading. So, I tell you what, let's uh, let's try, let's hit a, let's hit a seven iron and see what we do. All right. You know, let's hit more full speed. Sounds so we're good. gonna try that five iron, maybe a driver, so you can see the full swing shots. Okay, me and Kyle are gonna hit some full shots now. We got yep. the seven iron. Uh, just so you know, we did change the settings here. I got it on practice mode. So seven iron, yep. and we have it on carry. So they do have it. What's cool about it? It'll tell us our carry, and then it'll tell you total yardage too, which sure. is cool about that. So, all right. all right. So we got seven iron here. So let's see what's going to happen here. I oh, hit that well. That's. That's that is your money. stock seven iron. That was my, that was my stock seven iron. So I don't. I don't need to hit another one. It's been accurate too. I'm, yeah. Yeah. One seventy one. That's what I hit. That's stock. Yep. Just got to remember that swing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's why we have the amateur out here, folks. <laughs> Oh, nice swing. Nice control. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's about what you I would hit. say that's about what that's I hit. That's good. All right, good and I, and There's yeah. no need to hit another one. I mean, no, that's, I that's mean, right on the money. That's, so, all right, we're going to, all right, so I'll show you. And I love the fact that club head speed because that's honestly, you know, just staying under control, like getting yourself to get that club head speed, I think is, is so important. Yeah, and then one of the things I've been watching, when, I don't know if you noticed, uh, watching the tournament last week, but I love how they show with a top tracer, you know, the apex. Yeah. Like how high the ball's going with certain shots. Yeah. So, I mean, like yours there was 115.4, so you could work on that. I yeah. mean, if you wanted to work on your angle or how high you're hitting it. Exactly. Because, so, I mean, I think, I, as amateur speaking here, I don't, that should stop. You think 115 feet up in the air. Yeah. So, but if, but if you're hitting, a bunch of shots and you're like seeing a wide array of apex your apex is going from 105 to 120 you know you want to dial that in yeah you know so all right so we got to change it so now we're going to go to our five iron so you can see i just take the remote and there it is five iron and it's got it so Thank you. 
Well, That's no. a little short for you, but I don't think you hit that middle that, did you? No, I missed. I missed that toast scent. That was. To I, I hit yeah. that fan. It's not a good. That was a good I mean, miss. What, what do you, I mean, I, we probably should have said, to, you know, to the viewers exactly how far do you think or you want to carry your five? Oh, this. I've been hitting it good. It's been two. Lately, two hundred to two hundred five. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a good miss. That good ball flight. Yeah. Uh, I missed that one too. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Third so, time's a charm. That's not bad though. So I mean, I like no. the fact that. It's, you know, uh, you know when you hit well, but yeah. now it's even more reinforcement. Yep. That was hit. Yeah, there it yep, is. Yep, there it is. Yeah, so. And that's stock. I mean, well, you're not. It's good because, I mean, I knew I was off, and it's cool to know what your misses are. So, like, hey, if I was out there playing mm -hmm. and I knew I had to hit it just perfect, well, you know, when I'm playing tournaments, not always perfect. I like no. to have a little buffer, you know. Exactly. So, all you right. know, you, honestly, to know your misses just as much as to know your middles, because I play in a lot of, you know, scrambles and stuff, and they're like, oh, I'll carry this, you know, X amount of yards, but that's when they hit it perfect. Exactly. You, so, I mean, you want to have confidence going into the shot, but you also want to be realistic. Exactly. So, for example, to your point, like if I shot the flag and it said uh, 212 yards and there was a bunker in front and it said, you know, maybe 187, well, I knew I have, I know I have a little buffer there. You like do. if I, even if I miss hit, I'm going to carry 192, 193 yep. and I'm good. You just getting, got a longer putt. Exactly. But that's that confidence factor. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So, hey, you got your five iron tie. Right. What, what do you usually hit it? I want to say 195 because I don't feel I hit it as far as you off the off the. So I'm going to say 195. But you've been working on hitting at 80 percent. So that's true. So that's helped yeah. you. Yeah. I definitely don't need to swing out of my shoes. All right, that was baby cut. Yep. Okay, that's about right. I mean, that was pretty solid. That's pretty solid. All right, now for the fun times. Now for the driver. All right, I gotta change the setting here. I've got a nine degree, so I'm gonna hit the driver function. And it's already got nine degrees in there. So let's see, I'm gonna put it five feet out here. All right, so we, we did a video a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. My swing speed did not go up. It was right around 100, 101, but we gained I gained 20 yards, 25 yards on a couple by changing the launch angle. My launch angle was at 10, and I was able to get up to 14.7, and it went up to 278. So All right. that's what's cool about this thing, too, is there's, hey, you, swing speed's one factor, but launch angle also, too, is another I factor. I agree. I agree. So. All right, that's pretty good. What do you think? Uh, what are you going to hit it here? I'd like to hit it 380 yards, but, you know, I'm going to okay. wake up here. <laughs> if you hit it 380, I'll give you 20. All right. And if you don't. You owe me a dollar. All right, and we're we, all square. Here we go. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm looking to hit this thing 272. <laughs> Wait, you already said 380. You can't, you can't disappoint the viewers. Hey, man, I'm a kid at heart. All right. Oh, that's hammered. Okay. What's your launch angle? Yeah, my launch angle was, to, okay, so I got, my, my swing speed went up to 105, but my launch angle's yeah, low, man. so yeah. I need to, if I had my launch angle matching my swing speed there, I'd probably had 285 there. At least. Because yeah. that's, I mean, 105? That's, yeah, that's really good. That's very good. Yeah. So the smash factor was a little off, too, just a little bit under 1.5. All right, so I'm going to play it a little bit more up in my stance to catch it a little bit more on the upswing, so that would help that launch angle. Boy, that was hit. What's your launch angle? Two, ten point two. Yep, got to so, get that launch angle up. So if the I was, nice thing is, I would be interested to know the the rollout on that. The rollout on that probably would have been a lot. Um, I would say at least twenty yards, 20, 25 yards, because yeah. that thing was low. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more. Okay. 
But what's cool, I would have said, if I wouldn't have had this, I would have been like, that second one was way better than the first one, but it's giving me some data, and as a player, as a good player, I'm like, you know, I still need to get the launch angle up. Yep. I put a little bit more effort in at the top, and my swing speed went down three miles an hour, so. Yeah, you got to stay smooth. It really, yeah. it really yeah. shows. And get it with the hips. Yep. Try to get that, that post-up move we've been working on, and loosening up my hands a little bit. So let's loosen up. All right, I'm taking all that data in. This one's the 380 one. Okay. So, all right, that's it's interesting. I got it up to 108 on my swing speed, which is good. You know that. And look, okay, 11 degrees. 11 degrees on long chain, which is good. So I got this is telling me I got to get used. To, I loosened up my hands a little bit. Yep. So I, I miss hit it just a hair, which caused the distance to go down, but it was 1.45 on the smash. And but look at the the launch angle. It went up, and immediately the carry went up. Yeah, I'm like a kid again. I, yep. I love this. Yep. All right. Now, I, honestly, I don't remember my launch angle or anything. I know you were carrying it 280. A 280. Because you, you carry it further. I, I hit it a little bit higher than you. I mean, my swing speed's about the same, to be honest. You were like 108, 109. Yeah. But what's been cool is, I, hey, I've gained more speed with this thing by working with it. No, you really have. I mean, <laughs> that swing speed is very good. All right, that, that was it. That was so. What was your launch angle on that? Nine point one. And now, but hey, I had a hundred and ten mile an hour swing speed. So that that hey, and I'm not trying to make you no, feel bad, but no. the other day we we did a challenge match, yep. and he hit he had more head speed, but I hit the, I actually hit the green. I bet you, you I did. probably had fourteen degrees of launch I angle. I guarantee on that one. you did. And but he's hitting the front. So if he could get his launch, well, if you could get that launch angle up like three degrees, yeah, that would be. Well, let's Significant. see. Significant. All right. So, how are we going to do that? Remember we, our lesson the other day? What yeah. are we going to do with that ball position? We're going to put it a little bit far forward and, and get that shoulder lean. Yes, exactly. So, a little bit farther forward. My stance, which mm -hmm. I do have a tendency to bring it back. And I'm going to get a little bit more shoulder. I'm going to feel like a long driver here <laughs> with that shoulder tilt. There you go. All right. Well, that's all right. Yep, I didn't hit it that well. Launch no, angles up. But it went up. That, that's what we're looking at. That's yep. okay. I'm not worried about that. And also, honestly, with my swing that you, the viewers will probably see is that I get out in front of it. And that de-lofts. Mm -hmm. And that's something I've been plagued with for... So I got to stay back. And stay way behind it, right? All right, there you go. That was much better. <laughs> but I didn't hit it as centered as much. Okay, but you know, hey, all right, that's okay, because you, you actually improved. I got feedback. So you got feedback. He made the change mechanically in his swing, so he missed hit it. You got 1.42. Yep. But your launch angle went 11.3. Yep. So, hey, if you kept working on that and you center it, now it's two, probably 290. Yeah. 290, 292. Yep. You know, so... All right, I, I love this thing. It's a great piece of equipment. This is really good. So, you know, hey, me and Kyle are giving it two thumbs up. Uh, they, this is a great product, and if you're looking for something that's affordable, that can definitely help your game, you know, I have a PGA, PGA Junior League, and I teach, it a, teach it with them, and the kids are excited about it. It's helping them. They love this thing. They love it. They absolutely love it. Love it. And, and you can uh, get a kid excited about practicing. Yeah, it's just another... You know, another thing we use, another tool to help them get excited about, you know, getting better with their game. So, you know, hey, for more great videos and, and blogs, please check out barnhillgolf.com.